Forgnish Gaming. Hello and welcome to Forgnish Gaming. I am the dude that plays the games, and today we're going to be taking a look at gaming laptops, and not just any gaming laptops. We're shooting for a range of five hundred to a thousand dollars. Very budget friendly laptops, and we're going to go ahead and just kind of scroll through the top here and see what all that they have available on. And now this is also on Amazon's website. Amazon's cheaper gaming laptop. This is kind of intro, budget friendly, as budget friendly as can get. And um, right off the bat, here's two Intel X15s. These are kind of the sponsored uh, 750 bucks for an Intel Arc A730M and an Intel Core i7-12700H. And then um, it looks kind of like the same deal right here, except with uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM versus 16. Uh, so let's see. So both of these, not bad. 750 and 850. Those aren't too bad. Um, oh, six hundred dollars. An HP Victus 15 with full HD, 144 hertz refresh monitor, AMD Ryzen 5. 7535HS. Okay, so it's a Ryzen 5 7000 series. 16 gigs of DDR5 RAM. 512 gigabyte M.2 RTX 2050. Comes with HDMI webcam, blah, 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 backlit keyboard. That's actually a pretty good price. For $600, that's not bad uh, with these kind of specs that you're getting. Um, I probably would have preferred something a little bit newer than an RTX 2050. But that's kind of like the one to beat. $601. Um, let's scroll down a little bit. Acer Nitro 5, uh, $732. Intel Core i5, 13, 13th Gen i5 laptop, RTX 3050. Uh, full HD IPS screen, 144 hertz. Only 8 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM. Uh, I would probably skip over this one. It has a little bit better specs than this one, but the fact that it only has eight gigs of VRAM, eight gigs of uh, DDR5 RAM, it's a little bit of a letdown. You want to see with modern gaming, you want to see it about sixteen gigs. That's kind of like the new gold standard. Um, let's see, right here, MSI, uh, six hundred and forty-five dollars. Oh, eleventh Gen i5. Uh, with a 3050, I mean, this one This one here could be a good contender, too. $645 isn't bad for this system. I would have liked to have seen a newer uh, processor, but we also are looking very bro budget. Budget is the key word. Here's another 11th Gen i5, RTX 2050. I'd probably skip that one. I, you know, I'd probably skip this 2050, and the gold standard would probably be this 645 with a 3050. Because uh, our biggest thing here is the uh, graphics card. That's the biggest shoot we're looking for. Graphics card and processor uh, hertz refresh rate. Because this is very budget friendly. So this is probably what you're going to be using as your monitor anyways for the first little bit. It already basically has a keyboard built in. So all you have to do is just buy a mouse at this point And you have a full gaming setup technically. Technically. Uh, Asus Tough, uh, $700. That's not bad. A lot of these budget gaming laptops are pretty nice. Um, there's just a few, just a few of them just have like a little hiccup, like an 8 gig stick of DDR4, DDR5 RAM. But it's okay. We're going to keep looking. Um, let's see here. Uh, another HP Victus. This one here is only $572, but it still has that RTX 2050 graphics card with only 4 gigs of VRAM on it. I'd probably skip over this one uh, just because of the uh, just the 4 gig 2050. You kind of you kind of want something a little more modern, a little a little bit better, but definitely not a bad price and it comes with Prime. I wonder who sells it though. That'd be very interesting to see. Let's see. Duh, 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 duh. Maybe I skipped down too far. Free returns. 
Oh, sold by some third-party person. Okay, that's probably why. You want to be very careful with what you buy on here also because a lot of third-party people can kind of uh, run you through the ringer as well. But we are still in search for a good system. Ryzen, okay, AMD Ryzen 5 56... Uh, Ryzen 5 6600H, RTX 3050, only one 8 gig stick of RAM, uh, 256 gigabyte M.2. Um, would have liked to have seen more storage for a gaming laptop, but that's not a bad deal either because you can always pick up another stick of RAM and upgrade it pretty easily. Uh, $675. Let's see. What was that other computer at? Six, what was it, 645? This one's kind of the one to beat. Uh, five, you want, we want to try to beat that 500 gig uh, SSD. We also want to try to beat that uh, and that processor. But the RAM is right on point. It's probably just DDR4 RAM, though, if I had to guess. It's also sold by a third party. So, you, like I said, you want to be very careful with those third party people. Um, let's see, the 3050 only has 4 gigs of VRAM on it, that's a little bit, that's a little bit of a minus, but like I said, we are, yeah, this is DDR4 RAM, so it's not bad, uh, 650, this, uh, Lenovo Idea Pad's not a bad price either, um, you, like I said, you probably just want to upgrade the RAM, but it's al already DDR5, so that's a, a little bit of a cut above the DDR4. Let's see. $566. Ryzen 5 7535 RTX 2050. What's up with these 2050s in these newer with these newer Ryzen? That's kind of weird. That's kind of really weird. I wouldn't I wouldn't opt for any 1650. I'd go ahead and skip over those. 770. Hold on. This one here, RTX 4050, full HD display, 144 hertz, Intel Core i5 13500H, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 1 terabyte SSD, and a RTX 4050. Okay, so for a sub $1,000 laptop, I'm feeling like this one here might be the better option so far. Because the one terabyte of storage is a big plus. It does only have 8 gigs of RAM, which is kind of a minus. The RTX 4050 does have 6 gigs of VRAM on it, so that's a plus over the the 2050 and the 3050. Um, let's see. Where's the... Does it say anything about the RAM? No, it doesn't. Uh, we can't play the assumption game and assume it's DDR5. Um, let's see, is there any quick info that we can kind of get? It's a 15-inch monitor, 135 TDP, so it's got plenty of juice to run anything that you'd want to off of it. It doesn't specify, but if you were looking for a sub-$1,000, uh, this is probably it. Lenovo LOQ. We'll look through a few more. We'll we'll definitely look through a few more computers, but this one here is pretty nice for that price point. That seven hundred seventy one dollar price point. Um, another RTX twenty fifty. Uh, for the fact that we can find a forty fifty for the price that they're selling out these twenty uh, fifties, opt for that forty fifty. You'll you will thank me later for it. That's for sure. Let's see. Here's a nine hundred dollar forty fifty, but I feel like you could save money and just buy this one. Now it doesn't have an Intel Core i seven, but you probably won't even be utilizing the entirety of the i seven with a RTX forty fifty. So this i five would be still be best bet, and it has one terabyte of storage versus five hundred gigs. 8 gigs versus 16. You could easily, easily upgrade that RAM, though. It's very easy to upgrade in a uh, laptop setting, assuming that it's not just soldered to the mother motherboard. Um, here's an RTX 3050 Ti. 
Uh, that's not bad, but I would still probably opt for the 4050 Lenovo LOQ. And it's a sponsored. It wasn't even normally supposed to be on here, so we'll have to remember that. Lenovo LOQ. Okay, let's go ahead and shoot for the next page. Uh, we'll do this for a few pages, and then I'll just kind of give you like a quick pick of what I would choose. So far, it's the Lenovo. Um, it just kind of has like the best bang for buck as of right now. And pretty good price point. Ooh, RTX 4060. 12th Gen i5. But that's right at the tippy top of your budget. You wouldn't be able to buy like a mouse, mouse pad. You wouldn't buy any extra peripherals. You would be stuck with just this. So if we're looking for just a $1,000 budget, I always want to try to save some money towards different peripherals that you would think that you might want and then just go from there. Um... Here's another forty fifty, but this is at that thousand dollar price point. Ooh, okay. Hold on. Nope. It's still that twenty fifty. Let's try to avoid those. Hold up. Hold up. This is looking pretty decent. I set twelfth gen I seven RTX forty sixty. Now we're getting into the forty sixties for the eight hundred and fifty dollars for sub one thousand. This is pretty good. This is definitely better performance than RTX 4050. A uh, little bit hindranced from the 500 gig SSD. A little bit of a hindrance from just the one stick of 8 gig. But you can always upgrade to a second stick pretty easily. Uh, SSD, on the other hand, you could potentially upgrade. But at the same time, too, just depends on if you have that additional M.2 slot as well. Because trying to transfer over Windows from one SSD to another is a little bit of a headache. Unless you're willing to just wipe everything and then just reinstall it off that and then delete it off the old one. Which is also annoying. Um, let's see, 719, 950, 4050... That 4060, the 4060 could definitely be an option if you want a little more firepower in your system uh, for a little bit of a heavier price tag. But still $150 under that $1,000 limit. So you still have plenty of extra cash for mouse, mouse pad, heck, maybe even a second monitor, like a, an external display. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Here's another RTX 4050. This one only has a 120 hertz monitor, but, but comes with 16 gigs of RAM and only 500 gig SSD. Um, it's not bad. It's not quite as good as having the one terabyte and the 4050, but still not a bad deal at all, and it's also by Lenovo. Asus ROG Strix, um, I'd skip over this one with a 3050 for over a thousand dollars. I wouldn't do that. 1650, I'd skip over that also. RTX 4060, this one here, this would be your entire budget. 12th gen i5, 32 gigs of RAM, one terabyte SSD. If, but you, but you're also not accounting for uh, tax money either. This would be a, this would be a pretty good little laptop as well. This uh, HP Victus, uh, but like I said, you would have to wait a little bit longer because it's over budget. Uh, Intel X15, 12th Gen i7, uh, Intel Arc A730. Apparently, it beats RTX 3050. 64 gigabytes of RAM. That's not a typo, is it? Who's this sold by? PC Online US. See, it does say 64 gigs of RAM, and it has Windows 11 Pro. That's interesting. Why would it have so much? Up to, up to 64 gigs of RAM. I don't, I would probably avoid this one. That doesn't seem true. That kind of seems like a little bit of a fib. So I'd probably skip this $900 one. Seems tempting. Seems very tempting. But 64 gigs of RAM, I don't foresee that actually being the case. That's probably a lie. Here's a Intel Auric A550M. 
mm, seven hundred dollars. That's not bad, but I'm not really I'm not a big fan of the Intel uh, graphics cards just yet. They're not quite optimized, so I'd probably skip over them for right now. Uh, I'd probably stick with Nvidia or AMD. Just kind of more like mainstream. They kind of already have everything locked down for what you need. Um, this one here for eight hundred dollars isn't a bad buy either. That's a potential if you want to risk it for the uh, Intel graphics card. Let's see, another twenty fifty. Avoid those twenty fifties. You can definitely find like a thirty fifty or a forty fifty, same price range, pretty easily. Okay, Intel Core i7, 13th Gen, 16 gigs of RAM, 500 gigabyte SSD, RTX 4050, $880 from MSI. That's not a bad deal either. Let's see, let's go on to the third page. Uh, I'm still thinking the Lenovo LOQ is probably the best bet. Um, as of right now, 850 bucks. That's that Intel graphics card. Here's a used and new options from five hundred and forty dollars. Excuse me. If you could get this, let let's let's see. Let's click it. Used like new six hundred dollars, or you can get it brand new for six hundred and forty dollars. Oh, RTX thirty fifty. That's still that's still not bad. That's really not bad, especially for getting into gaming intro, and it's an MSI laptop. That's not bad. That's really not bad, especially if you could deal with used. This is probably your best bet. Five hundred and forty dollars, sixteen gigs of DDR4 RAM. Granted, it is DDR4. It is a eleventh gen i5. It is RTX thirty fifty with four gigs, but this is the price of like a ps5 but it's completely mobile you can take this crap with you to school like that's crazy let's see okay here's a rtx 3060 graphics card ryzen 7 5800h that's currently what i'm rocking in my laptop right now is this 5800h works fantastic but i have a 3070 instead of a 3060 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, this big plus, 500 gig uh, M.2 NVMe, RGB, 144 hertz. I wonder if it, it's probably just, yeah, it's just 1080p. $875, that's not a bad deal either for this laptop if you want the little more firepower from the 3060. Let's see, what else? So here's another 4050 laptop. Uh... Premium gaming laptop. RTX 2050. There's nothing premium about an RTX 2050. That is a lie. I wouldn't bother. Like I said, we're, we're, we are on the budget. We are trying to find the best bang for buck. And still be able to game modern. So, I would suggest at least 3050 Forty fifty bare minimum. This doesn't even tell what graphics card it is. Two in one. ROG Flow. Uh let's click it. Let's see. Let's see. Ryzen nine seventy nine forty HS. It probably just has like integrated graphics or something weird like that in it. So I'd probably skip that one. We want a dedicated graphics card. That'd probably be a big plus. Let's see. RTX 4060. Hold up. A 4060. 12th Gen i5. 8 gigs of DDR4 RAM. $800. Prime shipping. And sold by Amazon. This is probably your most reliable buy that we have found so far. 20% off, so it's $800. So you still have $200 in the budget to buy another stick of RAM to make it at least 16 gigs, potentially buy another SSD if it has, a, if it has an available slot for it, buy your mouse, buy your mouse pad, 
Heck, buy a book bag. This this right here, Gigabyte. Gigabyte just beat it with an RTX 4060. This is this is what I would buy if I had thousand bucks and then have some left over. The Lenovo was pretty nice, but this one is just a little bit nicer with that extra firepower from the 4060. Granted, it does have a 12th gen i5, but it has a RTX 4060. That's that's the biggest difference. You have more power. And for only $800, the Gigabyte. Gigabyte G5KF. That's where it's at right now. 4060. That is crazy for $800. See, because like most stuff, it's like 2050s, 3050s, 2050s, 3050s. Like, it's just all the same stuff. HP Victus, RTX 2050. Mm. See, now it just kind of seems like underwhelming because we found that 4060. See this Acer 5? Like, wouldn't even bother looking at that. That's $40 over the other one. But the other one's much better. Let's see... 2050 600 bucks yeah that would that would be it for 800 dollars that was probably the best buy that we found so far it's on page four rog um i know i'm a little wishy-washy with some of this stuff but sometimes see like here's a 4060 12th gen i7 right at the very tippity top of your budget but the other one for 800 dollars and you still have cash to spare that's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Don't even bother with a 1650 Ti. That is garbage. Like a 2050 is probably better than a 1650 Ti. Like, uh-uh. Don't get it. That's just a waste of money. That's e-waste at this point. We are looking for best bang for budget. Because we want to get into that triple A gaming as cheaply as possible and to take that crap with us on the road. RTX 3050 Ti. It's okay, but we found something better for that $800 budget. Sorry, but it, it, it already happened. Now I'm kind of focused. But at the same time, too, if you find something else that's a good deal, that can save you even more money, then I would do that. Or if you could live without an RTX 4060... And like, say, like if you wanted a thirty fifty, and you found a thirty fifty for like five six hundred dollars, that's two hundred dollars off, or two hundred dollars saved. Then I would potentially do that instead. A lot of it just kind of depends on your budget and what you're looking for. Gaming wise, though, I wouldn't settle for anything less than an RTX thirty fifty. Heck, probably no, no, no. I wouldn't settle for anything less than an RTX forty fifty for the thousand dollar price range. Like, if that is your absolute cap, but if you wanted to save some money, you could get that 4060 for $800. 3050, 3050, 2050, 4050. See, like, some of these prices are ridiculous, but they're not very optimal. Here's another 4060, but it's like right at the tippy top of your budget. There's a 3060 also at the top of your budget. All right, let's look at a couple pages more here, and then we'll probably call it. There's a 3050, $700. $1,000 for a 3070. Now, RTX 3070 is pretty good, but it's over budget after you consider tax, so we can't look at that one. There's a 3050 Ti, also over budget. Uh, Intel Arc A730, $800. That's not bad. 32 gigs of RAM, 1 terabyte SSD. Eh. I don't know. It seems underwhelming after we found that 4060 for $800. 2050, 3050, 2050, 4060. Uh, over budget. 3050, 729, 3050, 599, 3060. Over budget. Let's see, sixteen fifty. Don't even bother. Thirty sixty. 
nine hundred dollars, but you could you could get a forty sixty for eight hundred dollars. HP Pavilion, you know that's an older laptop. Nine hundred bucks, sixteen fifty, no thanks. That's a scam. There's that LOQ. This one here, seven hundred seventy five dollars. Sixteen gigs of RAM. No, it's kind of an underwhelming now. After we found that forty sixty, that is super underwhelming. Seven eighty. All right, one more here, one more, and then we'll go back to the other one. Lenovo LOQ. Yeah, I talked you up, but now I found something better for eight hundred dollars. That's crazy. Just keep looking. You will eventually find a good deal, and then jump on it if you have the budget and the money for it. Don't do it if it's over budget, because we are strict on money. You know, it's. I was about to say, you know, it's old if it's got snake on here. An RTX forty fifty. Nah, thousand dollars. That's too much. Too much. This one here doesn't even specify a graphics card. I'd skip that one. Lenovo Idea Pad, HP Victus, uh, 2050. Skip over those 2050. So you can find a 3050 or a 4050 for that price range. Here's a RTX 3060, 850. Nope. Found a 4060 for 800 dollars. HP Victus, uh, 708 dollars. 3050. I'd probably just skip over it. Yep. What page was that on? Was it page five or four? Four or five? Let's see, I remember it was Gigabyte. Let's see. We'll eventually find it. Gigabyte. G5. That's not it. That's a thousand dollars. I hope we didn't get baited. Because if we did, then I'm going to be very upset because I'm pretty sure we found one for eight hundred dollars. I will double check this footage. Maybe it's on page four. Okay, okay, yep, page four, this is it. The Gigabyte G5 KF, it's like a almost 16-inch uh, display, 144, 144 hertz, uh, full HD 1080p, RTX 4060 graphics card, Intel Core i5-12500H, it uh, does only have 8 gigs of DDR4 RAM, but that you can upgrade that. It only has 500 gig SSD, but there's the potential to upgrade that depending on if it has a second slot. But $800, I feel like this is probably your best bang for buck if you want to do a little extra to it and then still have money left over in your budget for other stuff, like stuff to upgrade this. And it's sold by Amazon. So very reliable this would probably be it, and it has Wi-Fi 6. So there you go. This would probably be my ultimate pick for a sub-$1,000 laptop, this uh, Gigabyte G5KF with a 4060 and a 12500H. Um, but like I said, you would have to do a little bit, just a little itty-bitty bit of work to make it even better, and it's still all within budget. Uh-oh. Accidentally click something. But yeah, uh, anyways, thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this video. And if you could, uh, please hit that thumbs up, uh, hit the subscribe button down below, and then, and then uh, hit the bell for more latest and greatest of Forgnish Gaming. Uh, thank you all so much, and we will see you all with the next video. Thank you.